Hey everyone! Welcome to my food painting series. I will be showing you guys how to paint three different food paintings. But I also will be doing a giveaway on these original paintings by me and on this starter painting kit including brushes, a mixing palette, acrylic paint and canvases. So if you guys want to win them then don't forget to follow the rules that are on the bottom of this video. So I will be breaking this tutorial up into three parts. For this video I'm going to show you how to paint a lime, so if you guys are interested in the other two tutorials as well, I will link them towards the end of this video. So let's begin. Let's start with the materials first. You will need a wide variety of acrylic paint. For this tutorial you will need white, yellow and green. You will also need paint brushes, but you will also need something to mix your paint and a cup of water to clean your paint brushes. Finally, you will need some canvases. I'm using 20 by 20 centimeters, but you can use any size you prefer. Once you have all your supplies and you are ready to paint, what we are going to do now is drawing a curve onto the canvas. For this step I used a plate that I placed at the upper right corner of the canvas. Then draw a second line below the line you just created at about 5 or so millimeter. If you have that, draw a third line below the second line. These are going to be our guidelines for the skin. If you have that, mark the center of your foot. You can use the plate as your guidance, but it doesn't have to be super accurate. Then we are going to draw in the segments of the lime. The lime has 9 segments, so what you want to do now is divide the inside into 9 sections starting from the center. If you have that, draw round edges at each corner of these segments. After that we can actually go ahead and start painting. Take some dark green paint and with a small brush line out the outer curve of the lime. This is going to be the rind of the lime as you can see here. Then take some white paint and mix it with a little bit of green to get a light green color. Since there are about three different colors underneath the skin that are blended into each other, I went ahead and painted another curve with this light green and blended it into the dark green paint to create a soft transition between them. Because the third layer of the lime is a bit more yellow, I went ahead and mixed the yellow paint with my green and white paint. Then I just added this color on top of the light green paint I just painted on and colored in the last curve. Now you should have a nice transition between the green skin and the different color layers of the rind. Now we can go ahead and paint the inside of the lime. For this step you want to mix a bright green color that is slightly yellow. I used some green, yellow and white color for this. My green turned out a bit too green I think, but if you would like to make it more yellow just add a little bit more yellow to the mixture. Once you are happy with the color, go ahead and start painting the fruit segments. When you do so, leave a little bit of space in between each segment so you see the guidelines you drew on in the beginning. To make the canvas look better, I kept painting on the edges of the canvas as well so you don't have a sudden break in the fruit and it just looks nicer I think. If you painted in all segments, we can now go ahead and paint on the fruit pulp. For this step, take a little bit of foil and crumple it up to get an uneven surface. We will use this as a stamp for the pulp. For this step, dab the foil into some white acrylic paint and remove the excess paint by dabbing it onto your mixing palette. And then just start dabbing the foil onto the lime segments but avoid the rind of the lime. This way we get an uneven and reflecting surface for the lime pulp. If you want to make it more green or yellow, just add a little bit of yellow to the white paint so it looks a bit more realistic. But don't forget, this is all about having fun and relaxing while painting. So don't be so harsh on yourself if your color or brush stroke is not as perfect as you wish. Keep dabbing the foil stamp onto each segment until you cover the whole lime segments. If you have that, we can finally add the outlines of the segments by using a thin brush and white acrylic paint. Leave your painting drying until it's completely dry. And then we can seal the painting with some glue. I used Mod Podge, but you can also use any other clear liquid glue you have. This way we can create a shiny surface to make it look more juicy and fresh looking. 
To add more texture to the surface itself, I tried to apply the glue with a dabbing motion to create an uneven surface. Except for the outline segments, for this part I applied the glue evenly to make the surface flat compared to the segments. Now let everything dry and your lime painting is finished. Don't forget this painting is part of a set of 3 paintings. So if you would like to challenge yourself and create the other paintings, don't forget to check out the other tutorials that are linked below and at the end of this video. And also if you are going to be making these, please tag me so I can find and like your recreations. I hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial and if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up to support this channel and this video. I would really appreciate that. And don't forget I'm doing a giveaway on my paintings and on a painting starter kit. So if you want to enter, all the information is on the bottom of this video. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to see more DIY and painting videos in the future. Thank you for watching everyone and I will see you next week.